Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to the 26th October lesson. Please open your book. Page 18. One culture. Here uh, we read these celebrations on the book. Why do Americans celebrate Thanksgiving? What do the Scottish call New Year? We talked about them. And also, we answered the questions below. We looked at the photo and we told about what we saw in the photo. And we read Thanksgiving and Homemade. And we ask and answer the questions here. For the first part, let's see the answers. We wrote these answers on the notebook. A family having dinner together, children, parents, and grandparents all together. It is the first picture for the Thanksgiving. And the second picture, there are people outside at a firework display at night. And also we continued with part B. We ask and answer the questions here. Okay, so the first writing is for Thanksgiving. Here you can check and write them on your notebooks because I think there is little space on the book. So it's going to be better when you write it on your notebook. Thanksgiving 1, it's a harvest celebration and a family celebration. It happens in the USA. Two people travel home to be with their families. They have a traditional dinner of turkey, root vegetables, and pumpkin pie. Three, it started in 1621 when the first settlers and Native Americans celebrated the settlers' first harvest. Four, Sarah Hale, a magazine editor, decided it should be an annual national holiday. So she wrote to every president for 40 years. In 1863, President Lincoln made it a holiday. 5. It's America's biggest holiday and an important time for families to be together. And we continue with the second celebration. Hogmanay, it is New Year's Eve and it happens in Scotland. Two so people can people clean their houses, have parties, and sing old Lang Syne. Visitors bring a piece of coal, cake, and biscuit bring good luck. In Edinburgh, people have street parties and watch the fireworks. Three New Year became important around 400 years ago when the Scottish Church didn't allow the Scots to celebrate Christmas, so they celebrated New Year instead. For it became a national holiday because the Scots didn't have a holiday at Christmas. Five, because there are two days of national holiday and children get presents. We talked about the most interesting fact in each text later. And also, we talked about the national holidays, national celebrations in Turkey. We talked about the Republic Day and the others. Also, we watched this video. Let's watch again. Chinese New Year is one of the world's biggest festivals. Around 17% of the world's population celebrate the beginning of the Chinese New Year. The largest celebrations take place in China's big cities, like Beijing. But there are Chinese New Year parties in all countries where Chinese people live. So it's a truly global celebration. But the Chinese New Year doesn't start on the 1st of January. And the celebrations don't last for just one night like Hogmanay in Scotland. 
It's a 15-day festival that usually starts between the 21st of January and the 19th of February. The date changes every year because it depends on the moon. The festival is over 3,000 years old and there are lots of traditional ways to celebrate the occasion. Most people spend New Year with their families. In China, many young people born in the countryside move far away from their families when they grow up. They get jobs and live in the cities. But at New Year, they all travel home to their families. They drive or take the train. People often have very long journeys home and the roads, buses, and trains are very busy. Back home, families spend time together. Before New Year, they clean the house. Then they start preparing for the New Year's Eve meal. Food is important in Chinese culture and in the New Year celebrations. The New Year's Eve meal is full of traditional food. The family shares lots of different dishes. And a lot of the food is meant to bring good luck for the next year. These are Jowda dumplings. Their shape looks like the gold nuggets people used as money in ancient China. People believe eating these dumplings will bring wealth to the family. Eating whole roasted chickens or ducks means that the family will be together. And eating noodles means that they will have long lives. After the meal, the family stays up waiting for midnight. It's called shosui, which means keeping watch over the year. They talk and have fun. They play games, like the ancient and very difficult Chinese game of Mahjong. And they watch television. Most people watch the New Year's Gala on TV. It runs from 8 p.m. to midnight. Around 800 million people watch this TV show. Then, just as the clock strikes 12, everyone runs out to watch the fireworks. Fireworks are an important part of And after watching the video, we looked at the vocabulary here. And we passed the next page. Here we learn through English. Who are some important people in your country's history? We talked about Ataturk and his friends, soldier friends. Okay, here are famous people in history. As you see, Elizabeth I and the others are here. We read them. We read them and we looked at the photos and we answered the questions below. Okay, complete the biographies with the information in the box. Here, you can see the answers. Elizabeth I, Queen of England. Henry VIII, he had six wives, born in 1491. Marie Curie, she discovered radium. Irene Joliot Curie, she was a scientist and she won Nobel Prize for Chemistry. Paloma Picasso uh, was a designer in 1946, was born, and Pablo Picasso was born in 1881. He invented any style of uh, art called Cubism. We listened, we listened and checked. Let's check again. Track 22, page 19. 
Exercise 2. Queen Elizabeth I was the youngest daughter of Henry VIII. She became queen when she was 25. She was queen for 44 years, but she never married. England was a very successful country when she was queen. King Henry VIII was born in England in 1491 and died in 1547. He became king when he was 18. He was king for 38 years. He wanted sons, so he married six times. But he only had one son. He disagreed with the Pope, so he started a new religion. Marie Curie was born in Poland in 1867 and died in France in 1934. She discovered radium and helped to invent X-ray machines. She won the Nobel Prize for Chemistry and later the Nobel Prize for Physics. She was the first person and only woman to win two Nobel Prizes. Irene Joliot Curie was born in France in 1897 and died there in 1956. She was one of Marie Curie's daughters and also became a great scientist. She won the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 1935. She became ill and died because of her scientific work. Paloma Picasso was born in France in 1949 but now lives in Switzerland. She is the youngest daughter of Pablo Picasso. She started to design jewellery at the age of 19. She became a very successful fashion and jewellery designer and businesswoman. She is a style icon. Pablo Picasso was born in Spain in 1881 and died in France in 1973. He was one of the greatest artists of the 20th century. He changed people's ideas about art. He was one of the inventors of the style of painting called Cubism. Okay, we listen to them. And also, we put the people on the line time in order of birth. Okay, according timeline we wrote the answers and also we talked about Turkey's history and Turkey's famous and important people don't forget your homework okay please make a project you can look at your book okay see you have a nice day have a nice weekend goodbye